pressing it now. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Thank you for showing up. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mark Pilgrim. I'm a Wild West Pro Angler. I've been on the pro circuit for about three years here in uh, California. So I first want to say thanks everybody for showing up. I'm sitting in the Simpson Bass Fishing Team boat. I want to say thank you for Simpson guys showing up and uh, being a part of this and giving us the boat here to, to hang out in. Um, I want to say thanks to my wife who showed up with me today and uh, some friends that, that are here with us. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying if you guys aren't watching these guys from the Western Bass Shootout Live, go on the Facebook sites. Mark Lassane, I believe, is, is live. Um, we've got Kevin Johnson live. You guys can go out there and watch them live during the day. These guys are amazing. If you guys want to learn a lot, jump on there and watch them all day long. I think Kevin had like eight hours of filming yesterday. It was amazing. So jump online and do that. First of all, let me talk about uh, why I'm here and my sponsors. Uh, number one, I've spent a lot of years team fishing, and uh, I've always wanted to be a uh, part of this, you know, growth on the West Coast and, and, and be a pro angler. And uh, it took a lot of hardships to get to this point, and sponsors. I've got to say huge, huge thanks to my sponsors. Number one, uh, Lake Almanar Boat and RV Storage. Without them, I wouldn't be here. Uh, Plumas Pines Resort, which is uh, the resort up in the town where I live in Lake Almanor and Chester area, which is where the Apex event will be uh, May 11th through the 13th of this year, so you guys check in and watch that. Uh, diversified Resources, uh, Lake Almanor Ace Hardware, huge supporter of mine. Um, Riley's Jerky, if you guys haven't had Riley's Jerky, I'm sure some of you guys probably have. Riley's Jerky is massive. I, in my opinion, the best snack on the planet. Great stuff. Uh, celebrated Interiors, which is the business that my wife owns. Uh, Big Bite Baits. Big Bites has been a huge supporter of mine. You guys that fish the Delta, you guys that are, I'm sure that these guys, the Simpson Bass guys, everybody that's out there that's, that's fishing the Delta, that's punching, you guys have got to use these baits, they're amazing, so check them out. Uh, first Gen Fishing and P-Line. Huge supporters of Wild West and the Western Bass Shootout. Um, if you guys look out there on social media, they're everywhere, they're on everybody's jersey. Great company. You guys check out their products, they sell more than, um, than fishing line. P-Line is a massive company and they've got every imaginable thing that you can think of. Uh, Eternal Lithium Batteries, who is one of my new sponsors. They're, they're uh, amazing batteries. There's so many great uh, lithium batteries on the market right now. And Eternal Lithium is, is, is one of the best. You guys check those guys out if you get a chance. Uh, the Gitsit Company. Gitsit's been around for years and years and years. And uh, I throw their baits religiously. Great company. Uh, Rod Broker, got to say hi to those guys for hooking me up with rods. Sims Company, and uh, another one of my new sponsors. You guys can come up and check out some of their some of their uh, their product. I've got some on the front of the boat right here, along with my my big bite baits. Is Wicked Weights. Wicked Weights uh, out of the East Coast is uh, really expanding on the West Coast with their uh, their tungsten weights. So you guys, I've got those up here. If you want to come and look at them, don't take them, but they're up here. If you, if you guys want to come and check them out. Um, gotta say a huge, huge thank you again to Wild West. They're a huge supporter of mine and I'm glad to be here supporting them. Um, Jeremy DeHart, without Jeremy and Griff Pierce who's standing out here behind you guys, they are, uh, they are the reason that we're here and the reason that we do this. It's, uh, it, you know, it takes people like that to really, uh, to, to push to make things like this happen and, and we're super thankful. Uh, Michael Bray, who's, who's standing right here beside behind you guys, huge thank, thank you to Michael and once again the Simpson team. Um, 
first of all, I'd like to uh, get into a little bit about the first two tournaments of our series this year for the Wild West uh, teams. I don't know if you guys watch these live or if you watch the events and, and what happened. The first event we had this year was at Shasta in January. And um, we had some uh, we had some decent weather. We had a lot of water that, that you know, beginning of the year, and that water was coming up really quick. The fish really did some strange things. We uh, we went through a couple of days where the fish were really biting good, and then the fish shut down. Um, the majority of the fish were were staged in a feeding pattern and moved to the inside of the, the main body points and. Uh, we threw spinner baits all day long. Those, that's generally the, the, bait, the bait that was working. Uh, the guys that finished in the top three all finished, uh, all fished those uh, generally white uh, shag colored spinner baits. Slow rolling those, rolling the bottom really slow. So keep that in mind January next year if you guys are out there on the water. Uh, spinner baits really slow. They work in all the, uh, the lakes around here the same way uh, in January. The second tournament we pitched was at Oroville. Oroville was, I believe, in March. March, uh, I think it was three weeks ago. That was a great tournament. It was actually fun. It was a tournament that I personally thought that I was gonna do a lot better in. Um, it didn't really work out for me that well, but uh, we had some very, very inclement weather. We had uh, heavy, heavy rains and 40 mile an hour sustained winds. It was, uh, it was a fun event. Uh, the main baits that, that were thrown to catch fish in that tournament were, uh, were A-Rigs. A lot of guys threw A-Rigs. And uh, I think there was a fish that was weighed in. It was 12 and a half pounds. That fish was caught, I believe, on an A-Rig. Um, they were, uh, you know, just slow rolling, uh, you know, those baits. And you guys, like on this boat, you guys see that we have giant graphs forward-facing sonar. The forward-facing sonar is, is huge, uh, you know, to what we're doing with these baits. If you, if you can't see your bait, you can't see the fish, they're tough to catch. So, you know, having forward-facing sonar and being able to see your bait is huge. Um, we saw yesterday at weigh-in a couple of guys that were way up on top uh, that are fishing out here. This, uh, the river right now is really tough to fish. You know, they, they, you've got tidal waters that, that run in and out uh, four times a day, essentially. And um, the water right now that's, that's flowing into the river is keeping that the river really hot. Um, it's, it's a little bit different to fish. A lot of these guys, when they fish uh, the river this time of year, they're, uh, they're fishing tidal water. The fish are starting to move up. And, uh, and, you know, getting ready to spawn. A lot of the guys are focusing on fish that are really in that tidal water on the outside edges of the, the weed line, throwing uh, chatter baits and stuff like that, reaction baits, trying to catch those fish that are outside, just getting ready to move up. Well, the thing is, is that with the high water like this, those fish don't really fluctuate a whole lot. They don't move outside that cover when the water stays full. So they're really tough to catch. For you guys that don't know what that bait looks like, this is exactly the bait, the chatter bait. This is a half ounce jackhammer chatter bait. I generally throw a bigger trailer on this, but this has got a big bites trailer. This is exactly what those guys are throwing outside of those grass mats. This is what they're, the fish, they're, 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 they're really keen on, on this specific bait on the outside of the mats, trying to catch those fish before they move up on the inside of the grass. A couple of those guys that were on the upper side of the, the weight limit, I know that one of the guys that's in the top three, I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, he really throws a lot of punch baits. Uh, I've got the specific punch baits right here that I believe that he's throwing. If you guys want to come up and go through this stuff, the colors are here. I'm not going to throw out what bait he's using, but those baits are here if you guys want to come up and, uh, and look through them. So, uh, I also want to talk about another uh, another one of my sponsors real quick, and 
that is uh, First Gen Fishing. Uh, it's a great company. They're, they've got so many baits out on the market right now. I, I personally live in Chester in the Lake Almanor area and we fish for smallmouth only. Uh, kind of like the Columbia River. Uh, we don't, it's not a multi-species lake, it's, it's specific to, uh, to smallmouth. And uh, I'm sure you guys uh, saw the Bassmasters Classic this year. And uh, one of the gentlemen that finished in the top three was mentioning a couple of baits and one of them was a jaw dropper by, by First Gen Fishing which is this little guy right here. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing bait. For you guys that throw a normal jig head bait on worms or a ball head on a worm, this is a, a, a kind of a spin-off or a takeoff to that, that ball head or jig head. And what it is, is it's just got a little lip in the front of it. This thing has a tremendous amount of action in the water. It's, uh, it really triggers the bites. Uh, you know, you can roll this across the, the, the springtime spawning bed and those fish are gonna bite it. They love these things. They've also got, you guys all throw underspins. Oh, they've got a top spin. This top spin is amazing for one reason. If you guys are around cover and you're throwing an underspin, the underspin's gonna hang up top spin doesn't hang up. This thing will go through cover. You can throw it in stumps. You can throw it in trees. It's a great bait for finding those fish in cover. They work really good. I've got one tied on right here. I'll give you a little example of what it looks like. Super amazing bait. It kind of looks like the underspin. Like I said, this is the uh, this is the 3 8 ounce version. Kind of a smaller version, but uh, I, I generally rig it with, uh, with a bigger bait, a bigger swim bait. And like I said, these things are just amazing in the water and they, they do a great job catching fish. Good baits. Same concept. This is the Flash X, which is a spinner, top spin, a little bit bigger profile. You can put a, a, a bigger swim bait on this or a bigger trailer. It works the same way. Super, super great baits. Got to have them. Um, so I'm going to get off of that little that subject a little bit. Go back to where, where I grew up, I mean, where I live in, in, in Elmore and where I fish. You guys have, uh, you guys that follow the Apex series, we're gonna do, uh, the Apex actually starts over. Uh, the first tournament of the season starts uh, May 11th through 13th, and that's gonna be at Almanor. Uh, Almanor is a great fishery, smallmouth fishery, super clear water. Uh, great place to fish. These guys are gonna be uh, uh, targeting fish that are moving up shallow. We have super high, wall, wall, super high water right now. The fish are going to be moving up shallow, trying to spawn, providing the water stays clear. And uh, I'll personally be up there, out on a boat, uh, doing some recording with those guys. That should be a really fun event, so make sure you guys uh, you know, show up. If you guys watch those events, check them out. If you guys watch that Apex event, check them out. And uh, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a great season for that. Do you guys fish? Do you guys fish teams? What do you guys fish? Do you guys fish teams here locally? We, we do the uh, NorCal Bass. NorCal Bass? Yeah. Have you guys ever thought about fishing a pro event? <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> Why not? We the sponsor first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Two years ago, I was sitting in the same position. I was sitting at home going, you know what? I want to do this. I want to. I want to jump up to the next level. You know, and I fished teams for a long time, and I, I just told myself, you know what, I'm going to do it. See what happens. And uh, here I am. I definitely want to do it. I'm right here. So there's nothing stopping you. And here's the great aspect of it right now. There's 150 of us on the on the Wild West circuit that are here 100% for guys like you. You guys, uh, you know, talk to Wild West. Jump on board as a, have you guys fished, fished as an amateur? And a pro amateur.
guys jump, call in, jump on board, go out, ride in a boat with one of us, and uh, I guarantee you, you guys are going to love it, and the next year you guys are going to want to You guys are going to want to fish one of these. These guys coming across the stage, there's a lot of these guys that a few years ago weren't even doing that. I mean, they weren't fishing pro so, yeah. so it's it's available. All you got to do is make the phone call and do it. It's a fun, fun thing, and there's not one of us that fishes this event that won't be your best friend. There's, you know, you guys, if you have questions, you can talk to any one of the anglers at any time, and we're going to answer them. If you guys don't know what you're throwing, if you don't know what to throw, uh, I'll personally give you guys some stuff if you guys have any questions. Um, feel free to call me. Uh, I've got cards. You guys take a card. Anytime, any question, I'll, I'll answer. So, let me also talk about my side business, which is my guide business. I, uh, I guide at Lake Almanor. I, I was born and raised there. It's uh, it's where, like I said, I reside. I'm going to start guiding from uh, the middle of this next month in May, uh, all the way through this next year. Uh, if you guys are willing to come up and spend a day, and you guys can come up and spend a day with me on the water, any guide trip for anybody, I'll, I've got my cards here, I'll put a code on it. Anybody who wants to come up and spend a day up there for this, show, I'm going to knock a hundred bucks off for anybody who wants to come up and spend the day. Uh, any information that you guys need on any lake around, you can call me. I'll give you whatever information you need to put you on the fish. And uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm going to throw, but I'll tell you pretty much where I'm gonna, what I would throw and where I would go. So, uh, so we're, no, we're super excited to, uh, to have this and we're growing, um, we're growing every year. And this is an amazing event. You know, it takes uh, it takes a lot of people to put something like this on, and uh, and it, it's it's huge. You know, I, I can't wait for next year. I hope to be going across the stage up there instead of standing on the boat, which which I love doing this. But I, I would much rather be going you know, across the stage up there and weighing in some fish. So, yeah. so uh, uh, is there any questions in the crowd? Do you guys have any questions? Do you have any questions? I was going to say, for your uh, for that top spin you throw, I saw you had it on a spinning rod there, uh, the bigger kite stick on it. you throw your bigger kite stick on that with a spinning rod? Or? I do. I do. I, I generally throw, um, I do mix it up a little bit, but uh, when I throw these baits, if I throw it at Shasta or Orville, I tend to throw those deep. And when I do, I'll throw it braid to mono or braid to floral. And I throw it on a spinning setup just because I want to I want to feel that thing down there. If I'm in 50 feet of water, it gives me a little bit more a uh, little bit more feel in the rod. And um, if the fish are really aggressive, I can throw that thing out there on a on, you know on a pretty heavy setup. And they're, if they're going to eat, they're going to eat it. But uh, spots are spots. You know, if you're fishing for spots, I, I definitely like throwing that on a spinning setup. So, so. so for your chatterbait as well, do you run a glass rod or do you run a little heavier? Uh, for my chatterbaits, actually, I throw some. I throw lighter rods. I've actually got this one set up on a. Um, I, I, I really fluctuate between the two. So this one's actually set up on a 765 Dobbins Champion Series rod. I also throw it on a jib rod. I throw it on the on the 744. Um, it's actually a, a pretty heavy heavy rod, but it's got you know pretty whippy tip. I love it on this. Throw it on lighter than mine than generally you know the most guys do a lot of guys swear by throwing pretty heavy line if i'm at the delta or clear lake i will throw it on you know grade or you know 20 pound line um, if i'm at shasta or at almanor i really throw it on throw it on 12. you know I, that's as light as i'll go the majority of the time i'm on 15 but i will throw it on 12. It's a great bait. Uh, I, you know, I throw it on P line. I've never had a never had a break. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a great setup. And like I said, for for you guys that want to go out to the Delta right now and catch a ton of fish, 
you guys can go out there and throw a chatterbait in the grass, and you're going to catch them. You're going to catch them on a chatterbait. You're going to catch them on a square bill. You're going to catch them on any reaction right now. Right? If you can rip that stuff through the grass on those fish that are moving up in the shallows, you're going to catch fish. They're just, uh, they're, they're really on the move right now. You probably catch a lot more males than anything else because you can't see the females right now that are moving up on the beds because the water's so still. The females are there. You know, if you guys can get in the back of the grass and, and, and you know, and flip and punch and that stuff, you're going to catch them that way too. And uh, if you're punching, the, I mean, the baits, the, the baits to have. This is, this is actually my backup bag. This is not what I have in my boat. If you guys saw what I had in my boat, it would probably make your head spin. But this is just my backup bag that I carry with me in case I run out of other baits. These are all my essentially what I use big bite baits for my punching baits. There's all kinds of different scenarios set up to colors. These things are amazing, especially for out here. And like I said, these guys are throwing these. They're, uh, they're amazing and they work. Those fish that are moving up shallow, that are sitting on beds that you can't see, you drop one of those on there and they're gonna bite. So that's where these bigger fish are coming from. These fish that are moving up there, you know, a lot of guys are punching those fish though. So they're, they're definitely shallow in there. So, so we can't, uh, can't wait for these guys to come rolling in. I hope you guys stick around. I believe what they're going to start laying in about three o'clock. They're going to be here at three forty-five. So can't wait for weigh-in. Um, you guys have any favorites for a winner today? Ken Ma. Ken, Ken Ma. Ma. Ken Ma. How about you guys? Ken Ma. Everybody's a Ken Ma fan. <laughs> There's a lot of guys out there right now that are really good. Um, John Pearl can't count them out. You know, it's great to see these guys. I, I, I you know, I, I talk to these guys and they're friends of mine, and, and, and to see what they're doing out there and having fun right now is, is really cool. They're, this, they're, they're gonna have a blast. We're gonna have a blast, and uh, you guys stick around. You guys that are watching Facebook and Facebook Live, you guys get on Wild West or get on Wild, uh, the Wild Bash uh, the Shootout West West website, Shootout. I believe. And you guys can watch that. I believe if you scroll down about halfway through the page, there's a live page. You can guys click on that. You can watch the live way in. It starts at 345. And once again, thank you to uh, all you guys for being here. If you guys have any questions about any lake, come up and talk to me. I'll answer any questions. I'll give you baits if you guys want to try one. And uh, you guys stick around, watch the way in tonight. And once again, watch it tomorrow. And thank you again, Mark Pilgrim. And uh, have a good day.